How has been your day? You had an excellent day? Yes. Wow. It's good to be in the house of God. And we're just going to spend some few minutes to, as is the month and the year of our flourishing, you know, we will talk about it. We will shout it. We will love to set the pace and the steps and position ourselves for these things. Like I always say, the word of God is true. Once it is pronounced in the capacity of the Lord and in the spirit of the Lord, it is true. Why am I thinking so? Because the scripture tells us, let God be true, every man and liar. Glory to God. And this is the word of God to us. Our year of flourishing. I looked at it first and I said, those trees look like a <laughs> coconut tree rather than a palms, but I think those are what they call the date palm. They are kind of palms, but they're in the desert. So it is not a coconut tree. Glory to God. So I want us to have a look. We will go to... <laughs> so it's not a coconut tree. It's a date palm. It's still a kind of palm tree, but not the usual tropical palm tree that you have thorns all over the place to climb it is a problem. <laughs> not that one. That is a dead palm. And palm is palm. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord. Amen. You've not heard of a dead palm before. That's just a, yeah, that should be the cedar. We're looking at there. So, luxuriant is what I want us to say. As for the pronouncement of the Spirit to a man of God, he said it's going to be a luxurious growth, significant attainment, persistent productivity. So we would look at. So I want us to look at quickly look at luxuriant. What is he saying? He said, uh, rich and profuse in growth, lush. If it's a forest, a forest of dark, luxuriant. Foliage, no, the cannabis. But then, he said, thick and healthy. Say you tell somebody your hair is thick and healthy, luxuriant growth. There are different kinds of growth. We have stunted growth <laughs> when there is no. Yeah, the person is growing, but there is no development. <laughs> That's what we are talking about here. Luxuriant growth, thick and fresh. Nice and beautiful. But this is what I want us to have a look at. Now, maybe, maybe, just maybe you're someone who has gone through a phase in your life and then you're wondering, oh, great, the trees are dry. And when something flourishes, there's a revamp going on. They, they, you see, it's just like when the trees go through the, as we are now, winter, everything falls up as though they, they're not going to live again. But when the Right atmosphere, conditions present themselves, they just come back all alive again. And that is the time in which we are. It doesn't matter what has been dormant in your life. It doesn't matter what has not been working. The condition is now okay. Even much more than okay. The, the, the soil, the, 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 the weather, as for the spirit of the Lord, is telling us it's the time when you will flourish. Amen. So even if the leaves are withered, mm. there is capacity for you to flourish again. Amen. And it's not only a growth. This is why it's very specific. Luxurious growth. Glory to God. Luxurious growth. But let's have a look at something. Because for a tree or a plant to have a luxurious, uh, luxurious growth, or your hair to have a luxurious growth, that means you are nurturing it. You are giving it something. You, 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 you are treating it much more than the other person is treating it, or whatever it is that is causing the other person to have a started growth with his or her hair. Now, let's have a quick look at something here. He said, for... I'm reading the NIV, okay? So I'll take it from. But the godly will flourish like palm trees, palm trees, 
uh, grow strong like the cedar of Lebanon, for they are planted to the Lord's own house. King James said, they that shall be planted in the, this one is saying they are. Are you planted in the house of the Lord? Because we say the conditions, the soil condition, the weather condition should be okay for the tree to flourish even if it has withered. So it's not okay for us to say it is a year of flourishing and then not put ourselves where we should be for us to flourish luxuriantly. Glory to God. Because he's specific. God is specific. For they are planted to the Lord's own house. They flourish in the courts of our God. Not outside the courts of our God. In the courts of our God. Even in old age, they will still produce fruit. <laughs> That's the kind. Dead farm. It can grow very old. Glory to God. Luxuriant growth. And Pastor said something very significant, which I will just run there. And he said, There are some times when the calendar of God is consistent or coincides with the calendar of the world, the man system. And he said, This is such years. Are you getting it? It's kind of like when we say in science there's a synchronism, moving apart, moving together. So the condition is right. If only you would do what he is required of you, you should not be like, I'm walking out of the will of God. Because in this year, as pronounced by man of God, in such years when the calendar of God is consistent with man's calendar. So if there be a waste, if there be the time when things were not really seemingly okay for you, everything is okay. It is what I'm to you. It's given to you for you to flourish. Because it's the, what God has determined to happen this year. His calendar is the same as ours. In your desires, in the things you want to do, in the things you want to achieve, there is no limitation. You are the limitation if you choose to limit yourself. But let's zoom it again. Let's have a look at it again. You have to be planted in the house of the Lord. In his courts you should be. Nowhere else. In his courts. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Luxurious growth. Luxuriant growth. Rich and fluffy. And he'll say, it is nice and fluffy. That's how it's meant to be. The question is, are we going to follow the steps of the Lord as with the direction? Because with every instruction, there are specifics. There are specifics. You see, sometimes the word of God counts and you look back and you as though it, it, it's as though it's a lie. It's not. You should be asking yourself, where did I miss it? What is it that I've not done? Because like I said earlier, let God be true, every man a liar. Oh, but it's a man of God that pronounced it. Did you not hear him say, believe in my words and you shall be established. So you've been believing God all this while. You believe his word, you are established. It's not okay for you to be established. It's not complete. That is not a complete statement. And he said, believe in my prophets and he shall be successful. Are you hunting for success? Then believe this story. Are you hunting for success? Then believe that this year is your year of flourishing. Nothing is going to stop you. A shock you stop yourself. Nothing is going to stop you. A shock you will not do that which the Lord is actually to do. Because that is consistent with what the Lord says. Believe in my word, you will be established. If I ask you, do you believe in God? You say, yes, you are established. Do you believe his word? If you don't, you will not be here this evening, will you? No. You believe. You all believe. The next step, which is where children of God fight it, allow the enemy to contend is believing the prophet, the man of God, shut up on the others. But that is where the success is. Glory to God. That's where the success is. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Mother boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are Spanish, it's okay. What about the success story? What about the success story? Glory to God. Because what is the desire of God for us? He wishes above all things that we prosper. Do well, excellently, even as our soul prospers. Uh, I'm spiritually, I'm blessed spiritually. What about physically? There's no way you are blessed spiritually and you should not be. There's not any physical expression of it. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory to God. Holy Spirit of God. Glory. Now, he gave, we will talk about significant attainment from other time. Persistent productivity. Continuous productivity. There's no, there's no, nothing like, oh, it's out of season. Oh, it's not time. That's not a time. No. No, 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 no. Persistent productivity. But I said, this is it. What does God want you to do in this time that he has pronounced his word that you are to flourish or you are flourishing? He says, speak in tongues like never before. Speak in tongues like never before. He said, Amanda goes, it is called time of refreshing. You see, I, I agree with him because when uh, I speak in the spirit, it's like there is this, you just sometimes I feel like uh, that's not the one I pray in the spirit to see. I feel like my hands have become big. Sometimes now, when I'm praying in the spirit, like sometimes I feel like I'm there, but I feel like I'm lifted and I, my hands have become so big and heavy. So it's a time of refreshing. Time where you become bigger than everything. Because he said, well, when you speak in the spirit, you are casting mysteries. Concerning matters. You are touching into deeper levels of matters that your natural mind may not be able to. And actually no may not. Will not be able to. That's the truth. So, in this year of flourishing, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Hallelujah. When you look at the deal of Herod, when you listen to that message from the beginning, Pastor took time to explain something on this cedar of Lebanon. Mm. So I'll encourage you to get that message. The deal of Herod. So you understand. So sometimes it's okay to... It, it, it's the right thing to do is to conceptualize why that word is used. To understand. Because it is sit out of favor. Okay. What is it? So you, you then have, you see, because he said what? A significant attainment. You would then know. There's an attainment, but he said this one is significant. Unavoidable. Noticeable by all. This is the one that they, 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 the scripture tells us that. And they saw them and they knew their God has been good to them. That will be your testimony. Amen. That everybody will know that your God is good to you. Amen. Because it's significant. Amen. It cannot be missed. It is significant. Amen. They will know. Significant. Attainment. Glory to God. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. So he gave us First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 4 when he talked about tongues issues and you all know what is there, don't you? But let's have a look at it. Is that a time already? <laughs> yeah, it's getting interesting. Your time is flying. Time, 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 time. Okay. So let's have a quick look at it. First Corinthians uh, chapter 4 verse 14 verse 4. I'm reading NIV. A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally. Let's stop there for a minute. This is why, uh, my friend, as a speaker, so what? You are strengthened personally. It's a personal thing. You take charge of your environment. <clears throat> You create this force field around you that you begin to impress on. When you do it the more, you will see that things will begin to obey you. When you come into the present, you come around, people cannot just misbehave. There's some sort of stillness because you are heavy. 
in this time of flourishing. Because we have to. It's a must. He didn't say you may flourish. You are flourishing. Glory to God. A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally. But one who speaks a word of prophecy strengthens the entire church. When we come to give the direction of the Spirit of the Lord, speaking some words of wisdom, encouraging, that actually edifies the church. Because those are to the understanding. But when you speak in tongues, you're communicating directly with the Master, with the Lord Himself. And you see things begin to happen around you. Things fall in line. Things be, they begin to obey. Do it the more. Until I begin to speak in tongues. I didn't know it's that enjoyable. It's nice. It's, it's the most easiest uh, it, it, way of praying, but actually you are praying to cover a multitude of stuff. And there's no way you will speak in tongues and there will not be words given to you in your understanding to declare concerning specific matters. Because when you speak in tongues, you are reaching into the deepest thing. He said the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. So as you are having that spiritual communication with the Lord, you are reaching matters that your mind cannot reach. And then all of a sudden, it wells up in you. And you are making more declaration with the one who are. Two days later, it's come to pass. Wow. Yeah. That's what it is when you speak in the Spirit. And this year is one of the things we have to do mostly. Just like Paul said, ah, 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 Allow me to boast here. I speak in tongues more than you all. Can you say that to yourself? Glory to God. Let's have a quick look at one more. Or two more. Then we'll be done. Jude. Jude one twenty. You remember we looked at this Jude? A while ago. Not too long time ago. Jude is just after third job. And we're looking at 20. All right. But you, dear friends, calls you friends, dear friends, must build each other up in your most holy faith. Pray in the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll read that one. Name. I'm not liking it here. Let's go to King James. Children of King James. I love it in King James. Quickly. Your most holy faith. You have all had that time before. That what we call most holy faith. Jude. Jude is just one chapter or just one book. Uh, yeah, just one chapter. So Jude 20. We've all had a time before when you just know this thing. But ye beloved, build up yourself. Build up yourself. On your most holy faith, pray in the Holy Ghost. What is your most holy faith? When you read before then, you will, you will, there are some things that I talked about. We don't have enough time to talk about it now. But your most holy faith. You know those times that when you just, you, you, you know that this one, man cannot help me. You just, you, you decide God is you or no one else. Okay? And then you give yourself to this. You give yourself to it. And, and then you, 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 you look back, you have triumphed beautifully. Nothing stopped you. There was no distraction. Those times there was no distraction at all. There was no like if or else. Nothing of that sort. You were just convinced this is the way. And then you went ahead. And everything was just like that. Such is the most holy faith. When there's no distraction for you. When the word of God is final and full stop. That's it. That's your most holy faith. When you're not doubtful of the word of God. When the word of God is just, it just sucks through you and you say, yeah, I'm there. You just take on it. Nothing more than that. That is your most holy faith. We all had those moments before. It's different from one another at different faith levels. But we have all had that time as Christians, as children of God, when you just know that this one, when the word came, you checked it down, you break it down. 
yourself the acceptance of the word of God to be true. Those things that are true to you, do you question them? You just apply them. Those times. Look around, check it out, and you will see where you were in such levels. But as a matter of fact, as you continue to speak in the spirit, you, 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 you are spiritually attuned. So the word of God, you will not question them much. Because you are now beginning to synchronize with the, the concepts of the word of God. So they can you accept them. They make meaning, both spiritual and physical meaning to you. And then you just carry on. You don't question it. Glory to God. And we have to do most of this. This is why he said, we must speak in the spirit a lot. Whilst you are driving alone, do it. Yes, you will have moments when you will take time out at home and pray in the spirit. But in those early times, it's okay to speak in the spirit. Liban kero satara. Yakala with your eyes open. Don't close your eyes driving eh? <laughs> Glory to God. So I said, God, I was praying to you. I was praying to you. Eh? I was praying to you. Look at what I've done right now. No, no, no. Don't close your eyes. There's a song that says, close your eyes when you pray. But don't close your eyes this time around. When you are driving and have moments with the Lord, don't close your eyes. Glory to God. Right there. Right there. It just, just start casual. It just start like that. It becomes your nature. You just carry on and on and on. Before you see, you are feeble so much that it becomes your nature that when you're driving, you can only but Once it's a long journey and you're wondering, what am I looking for? You're looking for CD to play. Libra Caso La Dica. Brandy Lemo Cosia. Baradida Tundigra Mate. My journey is beautiful. Oh, Holy Spirit of God. What a journey. We are making a journey. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to have moments. In this year of flourishing, you've got to have moments because you have to keep your gaze. You have to keep your focus. Looking on to the, the, our Lord Jesus Christ, the actor and finisher of your faith. Because the only place that we are sure of this flourishing is the cut of the God. In the house of God, you have to be planted. Glory to God. And finally, which is what you all know it? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Because he talked about your most holy faith. Faith is what? The substance of things hopeful. Remember those three things I sent to you later into the new year. Faith makes all things possible. Hope makes all things work. And love makes all things beautiful. Okay, so if faith makes all things work, it said it's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And I took time to explain to you that this faith thing is individual. You understand? I have the faith. I, I am I am seeing it already. And you have not seen it. That's what he's saying. So I don't have to bother about you. So long as I'm seeing it and I'm convinced, carry on. Faith, the substance of things hoped for. By who? The man with faith. The evidence of things not seen. By who? The onlookers. Who are saying your finger is like this and you say you are healed. Those are onlookers. They are looking at the physical thing. They don't know that we call the things that be not as though they were. We believe, therefore we speak. And a few days down the day, the finger is like this. Ah, okay. Yeah. Before they saw it, you saw it. That's what it means. That's faith. That's why you don't have to look. Is every somebody looking at me? My neck is like this. I say it's faith. And I keep it like that. I keep saying it's faith. It's just a matter of time you come like that. But do we say that's miracle? To God, it's, it's, it's normal. It's normal. Faith. The substance of things hopeful. But that individual that has faith, the evidence of things not seen, but the onlookers who are wondering, this guy, are you foolish? Can't you see you are limping when you say you are healed? Say, so I am healed. I know I am healed. The limping is just a mirage. Don't worry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, somebody say, ah, you say you are flourishing. And food, even food you don't have to eat. I know I am flourishing. Just a matter of time, you will eat of my food. Then you will know I'm flourishing. Amen. You see, those are the kind of faith that when Jesus came to the victory, he said, oh, you, no man shall eat of you again. At the time he spoke, the disciples said, you, your, your, your case is becoming a mental case now. But actually, what they don't know is something, tra- there was a transaction. They went. Three days later, they were coming back. Now they are touching the master. Master, ah, the tree you spoke to is dead. That's it. 
That's him. That's faith. At the time Jesus spoke, he knew the tree is dead. They all look at the, the disciples. See this man. Now I think we are following a madman. The man then came back and said, No, the man is not mad after all. The tree is dead. Let them say you are mad. Few days later, when they see you move about, when you zoom about, then they say, Oh, is that a guy? So, come on now. Let's believe this our God. They will say that God is really a God. These saints you see here today, they are souls. I tell you, they are souls. Amen. Kings have come to arise. It. Amen. So, ah, Pastor, I, I, Amen. something is wrong with you. This is a soul. Yes, they are souls. Amen. They are souls. Amen. Did he not say, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it? Is that what you want me to doubt? No. He has never failed it. Even before my own eyes, he has not failed my man of God, Pastor Chris. Not my, my, my zona pastor, Pastor Uche. Not my group pastor, Pastor Bosco. Is it me that he will fail? He did not fail me with my own desires. His own work. What are you talking about? It's working. It is working. It is working. Yes, it is working. Glory to God. Rise on your feet. Let's pray and go home. Speak in the spirit. Lika sonda by a heart. Le 